Today on Ricky, controlled by weight and desperate to lose pounds. Why did you not want to visit your sister? Because I'm a hobo babe. <laughs> and that haunts me to this day. These brides say I do to our bridal boot camp. You are ready to do this. Diabetes is not something that you can see or feel. Don't miss the hottest new workout moves from these celebrity trainers. If you got a chair, you got a workout. I'm Broadway inspired. I like Switch that. it around. <laughs> Surprising foods that aren't as bad as you think. Pretty, it's good. Yeah, of course can it's I, good. Can I, can I yeah, you yeah. can. No, 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 no. And My Fair Wedding star David Tutera with the Dream Wedding Dress Fashion Show. I believe all women are beautiful no matter what size they are. On Ricky. about her wedding day the ring the flowers the venue and of course getting down to her ideal weight to fit into that dress of her dreams today we'll meet three women who are engaged to be married and want to drop the extra weight for good so they are enrolling today in Ricky's bridal boot camp we will pair up each bride thank you we're gonna pair up each bride with a health expert give them six weeks to kickstart their program and get them prepared to strut their stuff down the aisle our first bride Jenny was raised on southern food and says she won't eat salad unless it's smothered with bacon and blue cheese amen <laughs> she is determined to walk down that aisle looking sexy take a look hi Ricky my name is Jenny I'm coming to you live from Staten Island I'm currently 212 pounds I am diagnosed as a pre-diabetic I have I struggled with my weight since a very young age. So everybody would say, oh, you're gonna grow out of it. It's just baby fat. And the baby fat turned into grown-up fat. I'm gonna go over some problem areas for me personally. Here's a diagram of my stomach. This is vegetables, all right? This is meat. And the rest of this is margaritas. All margaritas and cupcakes. My biggest flaw personally that I cannot stand on my body is this thing right here. This thing, this three layer cake. You see that one, two, three. Sometimes I pinch it and it looks like a booty. You know, I've tried the easy way. I've tried pills. I've tried the grapefruit diet, the lemon cleanse. Everybody wants to look fabulous on their big day, okay? But it's more than that for me. It's life or death. I want to take this opportunity to go backwards, to reevaluate my mentality when it comes to food and portions, and I need to beat this so that I can live a happy ever after. Please welcome Jenny. You Can I touch you? Uh, I have a little bit of that too, just so you know. In I, my it's... booty, you can put dollar bills back there. <laughs> You can make it rain. Yes, I can. <laughs> now, you uh, worry that you're going to follow in the footsteps of your grandma. Yes. Um, my best friend, my the heart of our family, uh, she died from diabetes in 2008. And I was so angry for such a long time because I feel like older diabetics, they still eat what they want. She used to stash butterscotch candies everywhere, Twix. She still did the whole macaroni and cheese every Thanksgiving. And... She was killing herself. And she was suffering. I mean, she suffering. lost her she, leg. She lost her sight. And her teeth. People don't realize you lose your teeth. The stuff that you eat, the food that give you diabetes, you lose that too. And she was only 62 years old when she passed away. Mm. Recently, while I was pregnant, we found out that I was borderline diabetic. So I don't want to... I would be midlife right now if I follow in my grandmother's footsteps, you know? How has your weight affected your life? Oh, my God. I've always been 
just a little bit extra, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're gonna grow out of it. You're so pretty, you have a pretty face. Oh, yeah. Pretty face in high school means when your friends go to the mall and they try on all these clothes that you can't really join them because at the time they didn't really make a lot of plus size clothes. So, you know, your friends are like, oh, here, here's something that stretches, go put it on. And then you go to the bathroom, try it on. You're breathing hard, it still doesn't fit. You come back out. And I love to look fabulous. I'm a New Yorker, obviously. I love, I love <laughs> your openness. I mean, you're yes. just exposing yourself. You are ready to do this. I know this is something that's very important to yes, you. Yes, it is. Every day I live this. Um, diabetes is not something that you can see or feel until it's too late, until it's killing you. And now that this is in my life, I don't want to leave the hole in my family that my grandmother left mm -hmm. in hers. And I remind myself every day, because I have a tattoo right here on my wrist that I got when my grandmother passed mm -hmm. away. It's of a cupcake. It's the... <laughs> <laughs> she loved them so much, but when she passed, I said, I'm never going to eat another cupcake again. I'm just going to get a tattoo. What, that didn't really last too long. <laughs> you know, I kind of eat them in her honor, but <laughs> it's really not working in my favor at this all right, point. I'm in love with Jenny. That's all I can say. But someone else is in love with her, too. Her fiancé, LaVon, is here. LaVon, nice to see you. She, you lucky man. Oh, I am very lucky. How did you propose to her? It was a housewarming slash birthday party because her birthday was the following week and um, we gathered all our friends and family members there. Um, I brought her a pig cake because um, she loves pigs and mustaches. Um, <laughs> They're delicious. Pigs yeah. are delicious. So were you surprised? <laughs> Very. I was, you know what, the worst thing that happened that threw it all off was that the cake caught on fire. Yeah. So he brought all these trick candles. I, yeah, oh no. I, and I knew he was going to do yeah. something That was the grandma's cake. doing. Yeah, she didn't was... want you to eat the cake. <laughs> I didn't eat that cake. It caught right. on fire. Let me go to our next bride. Crystal was too embarrassed to go to a family reunion because of her weight. But now she's determined to get in shape. Take a look. Uh, my name is Crystal, and I weigh 310 pounds. I have a lot of problems, guys. The first problem I have is my stomach. Um, as you can see, I mean, come on. You know, I got a love handle going on. I got my, my tummy hanging over my JJ. Oh, yeah, and my double chin. Who has a double chin? I have a double chin. My reasons for eating are I'm bored, stressed, got nothing better than do to eat. Workout for me is just picking up the remote control. I don't take pictures at all. I don't do that. You know, if I do, I go behind the people. I hide myself. One of my reasons for me losing the weight is so that I can be here for my children. I never wanted something so much. Just just to have that person help me lose this weight because I can't take it anymore. Please welcome Crystal. Thank you for being here. Congrats on Thank your engagement. You. you look beautiful. Thank you. So why did you not want to visit your sister? Oh my gosh, Ricky. <sighs> Last year, she passed away. Um, in her sleep, she had so many health problems. And um, my family asked me to go, hey, Crystal, let's go. I, I got your plane tickets. Oh, I can't go because of, I don't have a sitter. Um, Rob is working. You made up excuses not yes. to go. But um, my confession is I didn't go see her because of my overweight. Mm -hmm. And that haunts me to this day. To this day, it haunts me. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> How has your weight affected your life? Oh my gosh, it affected my life in so many ways, Ricky. Um, I can't go to a roller coaster ride. Um, I had this one a ride that it goes up and down and they lock me up. This one girl couldn't lock me up. Um, a group of people was looking at me. I felt so embarrassed. She whispered in my ear and said, you gotta get off, you're too big. Um, I got off, started crying. I want to go bungee jumping. I can't because you have to be a certain weight. You want to go bungee jumping. I want jumping. to go bungee jumping. <laughs> and I'm going to go bungee jumping. <laughs> you will. You yes. will. Well, your, your fiance, your sweet fiance who's in tears over there, Rob, is here. <laughs> Rob, you've been with Crystal for nine years. How has her self esteem suffered during this time? Uh, it's rough just to see her like that. To see her beautiful today is like. <laughs> It's overwhelming. Yeah. But I'm ready for her to do this so I can get her life back, her happiness. 
is for just her kids. to test in when she said I'm sad. And when she's happy, you know, I'm I'm very happy. <laughs> and I love her with all my heart. I love so. you. I'm so in love with all of you guys. Uh, well, you're both beautiful already, you. so this is a win-win, okay? Describe your ideal wedding for us. Hawaiian style. Um, <laughs> the breeze. Um, in the beach. Beautiful long dress. My mother singing. I just recently had a sister who died last weekend. Another sister. Yeah. Oh my goodness. A heart attack and that's... And that's one of the reasons why I have to do this. I don't want to be the next victim to obesity. I don't. Well, you are in the right place. I'll tell Amen. you that. <laughs> well, let me just say, up next, we're going to meet one more bride who says she never had to deal with weight issues until she hit her 40s. Please stay with us. Coming up, my metabolism totally changed. In the last six years, actually, when I met my fiance Stan, I got happy and I got fat. And later. What are Jenny some of her fitness struggles? The mindset that she's in right now. She's considered herself a bigger girl her whole life. And I want to switch that into her thinking of herself as the athlete. Mm -hmm. That's really important in her journey. Don't be shaking your head no already. <laughs> Pounds. Our next bride, Lisa, was teased for being a skinny redhead and never worried about what she ate until she hit her 40s and things began to change. Watch this. My name is Lisa. I weigh 152 and a half pounds. I am 48 years old. I think I might be premenopausal because my metabolism totally changed. In the last six years, actually, when I met my fiance Stan, I got happy and I got fat. This is one of the problems area here. You know, you sit down, you got that gut, and you got the big love handles back here. Never had those. Got more of a butt now, though. Growing up, I really never had a problem with my weight. It's all about getting up and doing it, you know, and having that motivation, someone to, to kick you in the butt. I just would like to kind of feel good about myself, you know, my self-esteem, and just would like to kind of get my old body back. Please welcome Lisa. Great to meet Hi, you. Welcome. 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 So, so congratulations Thank to you, you too on your engagement. What changed uh, when you turned 40? Um, I would basically say my hormones changed. You know, I grew up, like you said, skinny, redhead, never had to worry about my weight, um, could eat anything I wanted. Did you have bad eating habits when you were younger? I, yeah, I could eat whatever I wanted. I mean, even with my children, I gained 50 pounds or more, but the weight came right off. My youngest is 20, and after you know, I weighed 162 pounds when I had her, but the weight came off because I was young. But once you hit 40, things start to change. You know, you, you cry at commercials that you shouldn't be crying at, and you get all this unwanted facial hair that you don't want. Really? So that happened yeah. at 40? Okay, luckily I haven't had the facial hair problem yet. I used, to, I used to look at my mom and say, Mom, you got these whiskers here, you know? Yeah. And I said, oh, now I'm getting the whiskers. So, I mean, you, you don't look like you have that much weight to lose, but this really does affect you. Yeah. It's like I don't even, you know, my fiance, he loves to go shopping now, which is surprising to me that likes to go clothes shopping and stuff and I don't want to because I don't want to try on the clothes you know because I know I don't look the way I would like to look in them and um, so your self-esteem is really taking oh, yeah. a hit on this oh, yeah. big time so big what, time. What, what what's your goal in this doing this I mean when, uh, do you have a wedding date set October in Sedona Arizona nice that was nice. Actually, yeah, our first weekend away together when we first met we went to Sedona so it's special for us well <laughs> your sweet fiance Stan is here Stan mm -hmm. tell us what do you think about Lisa she's beautiful yeah, she is beautiful, and when I first met her, we used to do a lot of things together. We played tennis and basketball, and that just kind of took a back seat after a while, and, and now she just has to get motivated. It's just hard to get motivated to do things, you know? I mean, I try to get her to do this or go hiking, and so it has a reason why, you know, or So you excuse. become complacent, huh? Yes, exactly. Well, we have so much in store for you guys. I'm so excited. Coming up next, we're pairing up these brides-to-be with some of the country's top trainers, and we'll find out exactly what what it will take for them to lose the weight and keep it off. Coming up, 
Okay, what can she do specifically to improve her workouts? Um, let me show you. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, today's supposed to be off day. Oh. <laughs> Those off days are gone, oh. let me tell you. Still to come, Lisa's guilty pleasure is, what is, oh, that's mashed potatoes. <laughs> is there a healthier alternative? Well, once you load these mashed potatoes with cream and butter, we've got 600 calories here. The healthy alternative is you can do mashed. Today, we are helping brides get in shape with our bridal boot camp. Lisa, Crystal, and Jenny have spent the past few years struggling with their weight, but now they say they are ready to start shedding for their wedding. Earlier this week, we teamed up with some of the country's top fitness experts. Let's see how that went. Hi, my name is Craig Ramsey. I'm a motivator to move. I've been specializing in fitness uh, for the past 12 years. My plans for Jenny. Ooh, she's a very motivated person, so uh, I need to get her motivated in the gym. Jenny! Hi, Craig! Huh? Are you going to be gentle with me? Um, well, we'll see. I'm borderline diabetic. I don't want this in my life anymore. So let's get on the scale. 215.8. Do a little bicep. Mm -hmm. We're going to start at the Treadmill. Jenny, treadmill, treadmill Jenny. To pick up the pace to a walk here, speedy walk. It was walking, it was walking. Shall we go over to the bike now? Yeah. Good, round two. My belly's getting in the way. That's okay, won't be there for long. <laughs> Upper body exercising with the dumbbells, mm -hmm. and the lower body is going to do the cardio. Pulses, pulses. This is using the core. One last thing. Okay, I'm ready. Lower down and up. Oh, yeah, I can feel the burn already. Give me booty. I'm Dr. Ian Smith. I've been dealing with diet and nutrition and fitness for the last 12 years. So many people either have just a nutritional component or just have the workout component. I put both together. I have great plans for Crystal. I'm gonna completely change the way she's been eating. And then we're gonna do the physical activity. Hey, Crystal. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Okay. Ian. How you doing? We're gonna do a profile on you. You are weighing in at 311. Okay, 52. All right, let's, let's, let's do some stuff. Sure. Tell me what you can do for 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead. 20 seconds. Next machine. The elliptical can actually give you some burn. The key with burning fat, shredding fat, is keeping your heart rate up. I want you to go for 30 seconds as hard as you can. Wedding dress, wedding dress, Oy. wedding dress. 40 second hard, 20 slow. Shredding the fat, shredding the fat. 10 more seconds, please. How do you feel? I can't even talk. That's how I feel. <laughs> We're in this together. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. My name is Jeanette Jenkins. I kick people's butts for a living. I work with clients on the complete mind, body, and spirit experience. My plans for Lisa are to dive into her everyday lifestyle so she can take these changes and add them to her life. Hi, Hi. Lisa. It's so Hi. nice Hi, to Jeanette. meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm excited. <laughs> to dig in and get to know you. First thing we're gonna do is your weight. 155.6. Now your waist is at 37. Holy, okay. holy. I think we're gonna start doing some working out now. Okay. Okay, <laughs> day one. A lot of the exercises I'm gonna design for you are movements that you can do anywhere. Okay. Start with a plie. Always engaging your core. We're never just letting the stomach hang out, okay? Ready for some push-ups? The next exercise we're gonna do are called mountain climbers. Three. Wow, please welcome trainers Craig Ramsey, Dr. Ian Smith, and Jenny Jenkins. Yeah. 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 You're awesome. You're so awesome. Thank you so much for helping our guest today. Let's start with you, Craig. What are Jenny's some of her fitness struggles? The mindset that she's in right now. She's considered herself a bigger girl her whole life, and I want to switch that into her thinking of herself as the athlete. Mm -hmm. That's really important in her journey. Don't be shaking your head no already. Yeah, no, no. No, I'm breathing in. I'm believing. I'm breathing the breath yeah. in. What can she do specifically to improve her workouts? Um, let me show you. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, today's supposed to be off day. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those off days are gone, let me tell you. Um, come over here, Jenny, stand over here. One thing about my training that I like to focus on is metaphysics, combining the mind, body, and spirit. And we worked on this a little bit, but finding your breath, which helps you find your voice, which helps you not only oxygenate your body during your workout, but also out of the gym, it empowers you. So like, Ricky, we have Broadway backgrounds. Yes. Our Broadway girls. So on that note, Broadway-inspired workouts, which are a lot of fun, like if you got a chair, you got a workout. Let me show you. Easy. We can do mountain climbers to start. Hops in. And then I'm Broadway inspired. <laughs> underneath. Wow, I like switch that. it around. <laughs> and over the top. Like that. Into some push-ups. And then Why my favorite. Why does look so easy when you do it? Oh, so no. Six weeks, it'll be easy for this girl too. And I think my fiance's gonna like that part with this really? show. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, awesome. Dr. Ian, so nice to see you. Everyone was so excited you're here today. So what are some of Crystal's struggles that she well, has? Well, Crystal has been really sedentary. I mean, she's had a lot of disappointment in her life. She's been somewhat depressed, and she just let go. So the first thing we need to do is get her moving. And I know if we get her moving, get her heart rate up, she's going to have some serious results. Okay, and what can she do to improve her work? Well, here's the deal. So I always believe that everyone can't afford to go to a gym, and sometimes you have to do things that are at home. And so with a chair, once again, I like to do what's called chair steps run around. So come on over, Crystal. Wow, can <laughs> she can't run around. No, no, you're not going to okay. do it. Okay. The idea, remember, is to get your heart rate up. No matter what exercise you do, it's the heart rate, heart rate, heart rate. So we're going to step up on the step, back down. Oh, no. Yes, you are. We're going to run you around. Serious? We're going to run serious? around. Back up, <laughs> down, run around. Now this, she will do 10 of these trips in less than two minutes because yes because i believe can i use a smaller chair yes <laughs> yes all right but here's the key ricky the key is to do interval training when you do interval training burst of energy rather than just a steady state walking on each other for 45 minutes interval training will give you maximal fat burn and that's what's going to happen wow wow that's awesome she's game she's game okay and finally uh, Jeanette, what are lisa's fitness struggles come here lisa well, Lisa has been that skinny girl we always hated. <laughs> so now we have to make sure that she works on her bone density and keeps her bones nice and strong, especially now that you're going through premenopause. So we want weight-bearing exercises. So a stationary lunge is an excellent exercise where you're loading a lot of your weight on one leg, mm -hmm. but you're also using all the muscles of your body and your core, because we gotta hit that <laughs> core. Um, Lisa's core is above 37 inches, and you have to be below 35 inches, okay? Or, uh, if your waistline that, as a female so is above 35 inches, you're at increased risk of heart disease. Okay. So we have to get you below 35. And then, if you have a handy assistant like Dr. Ian, <laughs> and you can load the upper body as well and do bicep curls. The chair is to help you balance if you're a beginner. And then you add the weights. And you should be doing 10 to 15 reps. When you get really good, you can push the weights overhead. Yeah. And if you can do 15 over. reps, then I want you ladies to increase the weight. Because remember, we want this to be weight bearing. But if, I don't, I don't want to bulk up. No, no don't worry, you're not going to bulk no? up, sweetie, no. But to really make sure you don't bulk up, we end movements with lengthening exercises. Okay. So mm -hmm. after we do our strengthening, which shortens the muscle fiber, then we lengthen back out with movements like arabesques and plies and beautiful stretches. So it's all about cross-training. Sounds great. So we're going to be Thank doing it all. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is awesome. This is show you how you can have your cake and eat it too. Well, kind of. It's a culinary guilty pleasure make under when we come back. Don't go away. Up next, we talk about exercise. Now it's time to talk nutrition. I just had a baby. I'm not a soccer mom. I'm a margarita mom, okay? <laughs> if life hands me lemons, I'm going to add some salt and tequila. <laughs> talking with our bridal boot camp participants and their celebrity trainers. We've talked about exercise, now it's time to talk nutrition. Each of our boot campers have given us their favorite food and their trainer has prepared a healthier alternative. All right, Jenny's up first. Now, Jenny, who doesn't love a good margarita? Or two of them. Yeah, I <laughs> I just had a baby, I'm not a soccer mom, I'm a margarita mom, okay? If life hands me lemons, I'm gonna add some salt and tequila. <laughs> Is there, is there a healthier 
alternative, Craig. Yes, okay, this is at least 320 calories, and ah. that's a no-no. <laughs> so we're gonna cut it in half with um, what I call my Ricky Rita. Okay. Because I heard <laughs> you like them too, is that correct? Yes, I do. Okay, you'll, <laughs> I'm a man. I'm you'll get this option. We got our tequila, and we have some agave, and we're going to have two limes here, and also, instead of the triple sec, which is full of calories, we're gonna have two oranges. Okay, and so does it taste comparable? It tastes marvelous. I, I almost want to taste it, it right I'll now, but I'm working. Yeah. I'm on the job. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Okay, next up, uh, Lisa's guilty pleasure is what is? Oh, that's mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, come on, that's Good my old favorite mashed too. Potatoes. So, is there a healthier alternative? Well, once you load these mashed potatoes with cream and butter, we've got 600 calories here. Oh my God, that's like half your daily <laughs> amount of calories. Okay. So the healthy alternative is first you could do just a regular baked potato by itself and to get even more creative you can do mashed cauliflower and the amazing thing with cauliflower <laughs> hey well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and i are both having no. this and once you get cauliflower good. is a cruciferous yes. vegetable as well which decreases your risk of cancer it's loaded with phytonutrients mm. and yeah one but it tastes the same <laughs> it tastes <laughs> delicious <laughs> try some no no no, no. I'll, I'll take really your word for mashed it mashed cauliflower really does taste delicious okay. and it also one cup of boiled cauliflower has 91 percent of your recommended daily allowance of vitamin C wow. as well. It's okay. just really loaded with so many right. amazing health. You're taking benefits. her advice, right? Because yes. she's yes. the boss. <laughs> All right, moving on to Crystal. Okay, Dr. Ian, uh, she likes chocolate. Who doesn't? Mm -hmm. So what can she have instead? Well, here's the deal. Crystal uh, is also going on my shred program, right? We're going to shred the fat. And shred says that you don't have to be perfect. You can still have some fun things. Mm -hmm. Now, she loves chocolate. But guess what? If she uses Lily's chocolate, this has only one gram of sugar versus 24 grams of sugar. And it has as many as 50 to 60 calories less. Wow. And it tastes great. You it's... can't tell the difference. It tastes great. Mm, you I'll can't tell the difference. I'll have to be the judge of that. Nope, right? nope, nope. Right. Ricky. You will be. Lily's is great chocolate. Okay, and bacon. Thing, you love bacon. Oh. And s you do, oh. right? Oh. 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 I love some bacon, yes. <laughs> and guess what? She doesn't love it more than I do. Bacon is awesome. It has great taste. You can put it in anything, soup, whatever. But we also are giving her an option. So the regular bacon is about 90 calories per slice. You could try maybe veggie bacon, which is about 60 oh, calories. Greg, if you're a you hear that cereal. veggie? I you're heard also it. veggie bacon. Yeah. But, but, but here's the truth of the matter you can also have turkey bacon, which is fine. But in my program on the shred diet, you can actually have two strips of bacon with two small pancakes on some of your breakfasts. So wow. it's not about elimination. It's about moderation. It's about moderation. So she's going to enjoy her bacon in a healthy way, some, too. You can make it. That's better than nothing. That's right, better than nothing. Can I taste the chocolate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taste the chocolate. No, no, no. Taste lilies. All right. Here. Yeah, it's free. It's good. Yeah, of course can it's I, good. Can I, can I yeah, you can. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's not how we start off. All right. No, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ian. Okay. Coming up next, Dr. Ian tells us how to eat seven times a day and still shed the pounds. Information you won't want to miss when we come back. So in the six weeks, what can you expect our, our guests to lose? Well, I would expect that in six weeks, they would at least lose 30 pounds. Absolutely. Particularly for Crystal. Now, oh, yeah. now obviously, you're not going to lose 30 pounds in six weeks. Yeah, and she's on my program. And she's on her so program. Step off. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> in full throttle, we are helping three brides lose weight before their big days. Dr. Ian Smith's latest book is Shred Revolutionary Diet, Six Weeks, Four Inches, Two Sizes. That sounds like the perfect thing for us today. Yeah, yeah. What exactly is the Shred Diet and how does it work? Sure. The Shred program says that you eat four meals a day with the option of three snacks. It works on two concepts. One is called meal spacing. You eat every three to four hours. That will keep your hormone levels nice and stable and prevent weight gain. The second concept is diet confusion, which I coined after muscle confusion in the gym. The idea is you change the type of food that you eat and the amounts that you eat every day, week to week, and that keeps your metabolism revved because your body's off kilter. And you, and you don't like the word diet. Well, you know, I call it diet, but really all the people who've been on the plan have said to 
me this isn't a diet, it's a lifestyle plan because I have three rules when it comes to weight loss. One, it should not be expensive. Two, it should not be complicated. And three, it should not expect perfection, which is why I said she can have bacon on the shred program because you're allowed to have it. You can have chocolate. Who wants to eat rabbit food for the rest of their life? <laughs> you know, good. This is about the rest of their lives. Absolutely. And diets that are overly restrictive and tell you you can't have this or must have that, people will get off the diet and gain the weight back. So in the six weeks, what can you expect our, our guests to lose? Well, I would expect that in six weeks, they would at least lose 30 pounds. Absolutely. Particularly for Crystal. Now, oh, yeah. now obviously, you're not going to lose 30 pounds in six weeks. Yeah, and she's on my program. And she's on her so program. Step up. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, she, she probably doesn't even have 30 pounds No, she doesn't. She doesn't. But I believe Crystal, when she comes back, will lose 30 pounds, oh, yeah. and she will not kill herself to do it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. I, I, I feel it, too. I really believe Watch. that she will. <laughs> what is the first thing they should do when they get home regarding their diet? The first thing you do is sit down and map out what your week is going to look like. That is key. So, in the book, every meal is planned out for her per day with, uh, with, with uh, options. So, making a grocery list, going out and getting that food. And by the way, clear out all the bad stuff. I mean, don't tempt yourself. The, the biggest mistake we make is they keep the bad food in the house. Get you rid just of made it. a face, Crystal. You gotta clean out that cupboard. I got children. <laughs> okay, okay. And they get the munchies. Okay, but guess what? On the shred diet, children can do it also because you're allowed to have munchies. There are wow. 200 snacks in the back of the book that kids like and adults like. But some of the stuff she probably has, it's got to go. Okay, and what are some of the biggest mistakes that people make when they start an exercise program? Okay, people tend to want to overdo it, okay? They set a goal, and they want to make reach that goal in too short a period of time. Be realistic with your expectations and focus on each week. That's how you make it happen. All right, and Jeanette, what's the best time for to, of day to work out? Is it better in the morning? The research has actually proven that people who work out first thing in the morning are more consistent with sticking to their workout program, and you boost your metabolism first thing in the morning you're more likely to get it in less chances of you you know pushing it to the side because of another appointment I, yeah I'm much better off when I work out in the morning yeah okay how do we get motivated Craig we have to sometimes draw on what we have around us mm -hmm. our loved ones um, like Levon for instance uh, he's on board with Jenny's program that is what we need sometimes Jenny and I also talked about you know the mind body and spirit connection sometimes the spirit is uh, the grandmother passing when there's those rough moments we reach out to the loved ones that we know are there and if they're not there we search now online friends of Ricky even tie in other people and that will help you be held accountable mm -hmm. oh, all great advice thank you so much coming up we're gonna take a peek into the future and show these brides how they might look on their wedding day when they hit their goal weight stay with us Up next, our brides-to-be check out their dream wedding dresses. <laughs> I think that'll look so great on you. Right? I know. It gives you... I see the curves. That's all I want. It's just be like, bam. Yes. <laughs> bam. Take a photo. Crystal and Lisa are starting their journey to a healthier lifestyle and body all in time for their wedding day. And here to give them a little inspiration to reach their goal weight is wedding expert and star of WeTV's My Fair Wedding, David Tutera. Hi, David. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm really excited because I've designed this wonderful collection called David Tutera from Mon Cherie, and it's a line Catchy that has... name. What's that? Catchy title. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I believe all women are beautiful no matter what size they are. I truly do believe that, and that's something I focus on. However... These three beautiful brides are going to be able to take a look at what they might look like in a great gown, but my line goes from 2 to 26. And there's something for every personality, for every size. If you want to lose weight to walk down the aisle and feel more confident, I believe in it. But you look gorgeous. So don't get so stressed out. You've got amazing people right here who will help you get through that journey. So that's what the line is all about. Awesome, awesome. Well, each bride gave us a photo of her dream dress from David's personal bridal collection to help them keep them motivated. Our model are going to show them what they might look like once they reach their goal weights. Okay. All right, let's see Jenny's yeah. dream dress. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Thank you. And I think that this will look amazing on you. When you get to that dream goal, this is something that's so perfect for your body type. And something that's very in right now is lace. It's got a little bit of old world with current times in the more modern silhouette. But the straps are removable, so you can lose these. But for a woman of your beautiful size, <laughs> and when you have it, show it up top. Oh, yeah. This gives you that extra support that's so important to give you the confidence when you're walking oh. down the aisle in style. I think that'll look so great. On you. Right? I know. It gives you, I see the curves. That's all I want. It's be like, bam. Yes. <laughs> bam. Take a photo. Bam. That's all I want. And she said it perfectly. If you've got curves, show the girls, show your curves off. Embrace your body. And that's exactly what you'll do in this first game. All right. Well, let's move on to Crystal's dream dress. Are you ready to see it? Yes. Come on out. <laughs> Train. Now, looking good. What do you think? I like it. Yes. <laughs> Let me give you a little tip. You don't always have to have straps. The design of my dresses have an inner inner corset, so the boning nice. and structuring in the gown gives you the support for the upper top, sweetheart neckline, scallop neckline, scallop bottom of the hem. Yes. Again, appliques in lace and crystal mm -hmm. designed into the dress, which is so perfect for this young yes. lady. But you can also go with a modest A line, okay. which I highly recommend for you as well. When you get to their goal weight, you're just gonna just look amazing as you glide oh, down the aisle. Oh, I am. It's inspiring, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, last but not least, we have Lisa's dream dress. Get ready. That's beautiful. Thank you. Pretty, pretty. You're gonna look amazing if you pick this dress. Again, from my collection. This is a little bit more modern with the asymmetrical lines. The bubble in the skirt, which picks up and gives you a little bit more fluidity when you're walking down the aisle. The touch of crystal, again, asymmetrical across the bust line. A modest sweetheart neckline. Turn around for me for a second. You've got the buttons that are going along the back. This is a great dress for you for a couple reasons. For your age, for the time you're walking down the aisle, for your body, type you have a longer torso so this works for you in giving you that length Excellent. when she walks down the aisle and, and you have some special gifts for a bra I do uh, you know I'm all about making women feel so special and so beautiful when they walk down the aisle so not only can you pick one of the dresses from my collection which you will be able to have for your wedding <laughs> Part, Ricky, I love this. Okay, so all the jewelry on you is from my line Embellish, which you'll have $500 towards your own line of jewelry from my collection. Yes. Also, the shoes you're wearing from my shoe collection you will be able to wear when you walk down the aisle. $500 from my craft line to sparkle your entire oh celebration. My God. Wow. Wait a minute. If you need a wedding planner, by the way, you can go to my <laughs> online wedding planner service, which is any access as long as you want, and you can go to me and see me and do a one hour Skype. So we can talk and chat and I can help you with your wedding as you walk through the process of planning your Thank big you. Oh my God. The goal is to be healthier by losing some of the unwanted pounds, and we want you to be successful in your boot camp process, so we are going to be providing you with a gym membership. Curves is giving each of you a one-year membership to the Curves of your choice. It is the world's largest fitness company for women, and everyone in the audience is going to go home with a free week, one-week pass to Curves. So enjoy. But wait, there's more. Right, David? Yes. So in the where you're having your wedding, you'll be able to have your flowers and your cake and your photography all for your weddings at home. Yes, Jenny, you'll receive flowers by Bernard, wedding cake by Sweet Sweet Sue's, and photography by Marconi Photography. Crystal, you'll be getting okay. flowers by Tampa Wedding Studio, wedding oh cake by The Cake Zone, and photography by The New Image Photography. <laughs> Thank She's you. In tears. And Lisa, you will receive flowers by Lux Wedding Florist, wedding cake by Let the Meat Cake, and photography by Modern Wedding Scenes by Chadwick Fowler. And we want to make sure... sure you get a great honeymoon too so each of you will receive an all-inclusive oh five night six day honeymoon oh to the st james club morgan bay in st lucia enjoy spectacular sunsets from the ocean view all your meals drinks water sports and nightlife entertainment included wow but remember you have to do the work you have to do the work you've got six weeks coming up
up next, boot camp is still in session, and you don't have to be a bride to get in on the fun. We'll tell you how you can join at home in our bridal boot camp fitness program after this. a bride to get in on our bridal boot camp fun. Heather Frey is a friend of Ricky, the founder of Smash Fit, and the creator of the Change Challenge. Nice to see you, Heather. Hi, nice to see you, too. I'm oh. happy you're here. Tell everyone, what is the Change Challenge? Well, the Change Challenge was my idea for people to step away from the scale. Because I think when you get on those scales, you start getting really demotivated by the numbers. So the idea is that it's a phase by phase, change by change, week to week, Focus on the action, focus on what you need to do, and the weight will come off all by itself. So, for instance, uh, the very first phase is to exercise your no muscle. So when you're talking about getting rid of things, I say you don't have to get rid of them forever, but for now. So you learn how to set the limits for yourself. So no soda, no fast food, find the alternatives, find other things. Okay. So step by step, change by change. All right, so how does everyone join the challenge? Well all over the body section of the Ricky Lake Show website, mm -hmm. of course. And we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on the Change Challenge, Ricky Lake Show. So Smash the idea is that it. everybody support, uh, supports That's each other, right? right? And, okay. there, and there are live meetup groups, too. You all can right. go to the site and find them. Fantastic. Well, we will follow our brides and health experts and track their progress. We'll bring back our brides in one month to see the results and log on to the RickyLakeShow.com for updates and fitness and nutrition information to help jumpstart your health. Thanks to all of my guests for being here today. Special thanks to Craig Ramsey, Dr. Ian Smith, and Jeanette Jenkins. And thanks to David Chitura for his fabulous gifts. And good luck to our brides on this boot camp. I know you can do it. Thanks for watching.